So my name is uh, Martin Popel. I've been working in Formula One for 24 years and I'm trackside manager for DHL uh, F1 um, logistics operation. Um, it's a logistical um, uh, problem that we have to get over. It's, um, it's basically the same routine as we do at every other race. Uh, it's just that we've got three races on the trot, so there's no break, and we have to get the transport um, double manned, the trucks double manned and triple manned, from here to Austria, and then from Austria straight to Silverstone. So we're against the clock from the whole way through. So uh, it just means more people being thrown at it, a lot more hours working, and uh, most of the guys won't be getting a break for about three weeks, really. Yeah, everything's fine. It's, uh, at, this, at this stage of the weekend, it's just like a normal race for us. It starts in earnest um, after the race is finished, so um, we're doing the race between the races, and um, everything gets packed down on Sunday night. Um, all the various different elements within DHL will be packing up, loading trucks, and then be setting off um, with extra drivers to drive to Austria. Um, as soon as we get to Austria, obviously everything's unpacked, everything's reset up again, and then we go back into the same format as normal race week. Um, Austria then Sunday night again kicks in again, so everything's the same, we have to pack everything down, everything's loaded in the trucks, and Austria to Silverstone is further, so we need three drivers in some of the trucks. So you can double man to um, pretty much to Calais, hopefully, if there's no dramas. And then we have extra drivers from there going to Silverstone, so the trucks continually run all the way through, no stopping. Um, mine's a lot easier than what the guys are on the ground, because they actually drove from the UK, drove out here and they set everything up. I arrived on Wednesday. Um, I have to set up the motorhome which is behind us, so that's our new, our new piece of equipment this year. So, you know, set that up. Um, and then basically it's making sure everything's running on the ground um, uh, as it should be, liaising with the teams, uh, sorting any problems out with the guys and obviously now we're working on um, the logistics for the, um, the two drives, one from here to Austria and Austria to Silverstone, so we're working on that um, along with um, the races coming forward as well because we work three or four races in advance so we're booking forklifts, we're arranging trucks um, getting everything planned, so you're working usually three or four weeks in front of yourself. Okay, so here you see our new um, motorhome hospitality facility. Um, this was first, uh, first race was Monaco, um, and we were inside a car park, so this is the first time it's sort of been out in public um, in the paddock line. Basically it's a, um, a container, as their office, with an awning around it, which um, it doesn't look like a sea freight container, luckily, so it's been uh, yellowized. And we've got space here for um, the crew to use, somewhere to sit, somewhere for um, um, any guests that we have, um, and any of the team or um, any of the F1 people can come and have a meeting with us. I'll just show you into the offices here. So the first office here is a meeting office, just a very small meeting office, suitable for four to six people. In here um, is a senior management office, so if we have any top members come, they sit in here. There is a piece going in here that hasn't, hasn't turned up yet. Um, this expands out, so this, this folds back into this position here for travel, so it's got an expanding side on it. And then we come into the main office area. Um, so there's two of us that work in here most of the time. Um, and there is space for another two or three workers in here as well, um, as we require. So this is my office space during the weekend. Um, so this is the office away from the office. Um, and basically myself and my colleague, we're working on all the logistics going forward. So we're planning all the, um, the triple header um, as we just spoke about. Uh, plus anything else going forward, we're looking at um, races in advance um, as far forward as the end of the year, so we're planning all the time in advance um, flyaways and European races. 